In this video, I'm going to look at a subwoofer low-pass filter amplifier module. This takes your stereo preamp output and gives you a mono, low-frequency only output for your subamp. Here's another module that I was sent to evaluate from IC Station. This one here is a low-pass filter preamp. In other words, it's a subwoofer driver. So you feed your audio signal in and it will give you just the base output to drive a subwoofer. Here are the controls. Get your power input. Now it requires uh, AC split input so you need to run this with a transformer with a center tap and ground and then you give it to your input it's got your left and right input because it'll take a stereo input but it gives you a mono output and here is your output so let's uh, connect this thing up and um, see what it does okay we're hooking this unit up I'm just gonna hook it up to a line input source and a line output feed it back to my amplifier so we can demonstrate how this thing works So there's the line input, and this is the output, ground and the output. I'm only hooking in a single input, I'm not going to hook it up for stereo because, oh, my ground wire didn't attach, we'll try that again. I'm not going to hook it up for a stereo input because not necessary, not for the demo. But if you had a stereo source and you were going to use this to drive a separate subwoofer amplifier, you could place your left and right inputs into here, and it would give you a monaural output. Okay, then we need to connect power. We have our center tap for the transformer that's going to go to the center pin here, the ground, and then the two AC inputs. And that will power up this unit. Okay, I'll we'll apply power to this thing. Oh, blue light, wonderful. Everything has a blue, oh, one of my leads came off here. Okay, now I've got my input and my output. Let's just take an input from my music source. plug it into my amplifier. So my music source and then I'm going to couple the output from this into my amplifier input. And we have a cutoff frequency here and a gain control. There's our bass. So that changes the frequency down. So it's only going to be the lower frequencies. Got to find us something with lots of bass in it. So there's our, our cutoff frequency, and if I turn this to the clockwise, it'll it'll lower the cutoff. 
So now it's just the base. As you can hear. And no, that's not a subwoofer fret running. That's why it's rattling because uh, it's making everything on the shelf rattle. But so there you go. There's the low pass filter preamp board. As you can hear. So with this you can drive a big power amp and drive it into your base bins, your subwoofers. And that's what this is. It's a subwoofer driver to turn any conventional amplifier into just a base amplifier. Feed your signal in, get your signal out just the low frequencies, low pass filter. That's it. Uh, link to this one's on the video. It's about nine bucks from IC Station. That's Canadian, nine bucks from IC Station. There it is, a little board. Not bad quality. Everything looks to be uh, done really well on here. And for you guys wondering, the uh, cutoff frequency, 22 hertz to 210 hertz. That's the cutoff frequency for your low pass, adjustable. 22 to 210. And there's your output. This will be found in like some of those powered subwoofs some power subwoofers would have exactly the same type of setup in it. So for the uh, preamp chips, the op amps are a pair of Texas Instruments NE5532 low noise preamps or, or low noise operational amps, op amps. There's a closer look at the board itself. I'm just disconnecting it here now so So you guys can get a closer look at the board once I take all the wires off here. Okay, here's a closer look at the board. The capacitors. It's got a 7812 and a 7912 12 volt positive and negative regulator IC. Got a pair of Nikocon 2200 microfarad 25 volt main filter capacitors. Component quality looks to be really good on here. Full wave, full wave bridge rectifier. Anyway, that's a quick look at this subwoofer preamp low pass filter module. Thanks for watching, and the link to this one's also in the video. And we'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.